Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University Wasp team as we take on another Eastern Yellow Jacket ground nest. This is a beneficial native species here in the Midwest of the USA in North America. However, they are also one of the most dangerous species we deal with because they are very aggressive and very defensive of their nest, and they often attack people who stumble across their nest while playing on the lawn or mowing the lawn or simply walking in an area where they did not see these nests. Because so many people get stung by this species during these surprise attacks, it's a species that's important for venom immunotherapy. And what that means is allergy shots are created by the biomedical industry in special labs that do that work. And what we do is we collect these wasps in our vacuum extraction devices like you see here, and then we flash freeze them to preserve their venom, and we send them to these labs that create allergy shots for patients who have severe or lethal venom allergies. So we're gonna show you how we collect the adult flying wasps first as phase one, then we're gonna show you how we dig out the brood comb as you see here as phase two. The brood comb's very important. That's where the eggs, larvae, and pupae are developing into adult wasps. It's underground, there's several layers of brood comb, and we need to remove that so that we can get that nest secured and bring it back to our vespiary. And there we can incubate the nest until the pupae hatch out as adult wasps and they can be collected for venom immunotherapy as well. Then as you see here, we have to secure the queen from that nest so that we can make sure she doesn't try to rebuild at that same location. And that when we bring her back to the vespiary, she can continue developing her nest and we can make sure it's a healthy, productive nest during the incubation process in the vespiary. Once we have the adult wasp contained like you see here, and we have the brood comb contained as you see here, and we have the queen contained as well, then we know this nest will no longer bother the client that we were helping. The last step in this process is spraying down the hole where the nest used to be with a non-toxic mix of soap and water and essential oils. We never use any type of pesticide or poisons because they're simply not necessary. You can control every species of wasp on earth without poison 100% of the time using simply soap and water and essential oils. That's something we want to make very clear to our viewers. You don't have to take our word for it. Try it. Make a mix of dish soap and water, put in peppermint oil, clove oil, and lemongrass oil, and use that, and watch what happens. To view the complete episode, click on the link in the description.